Now, the last thing when you're measuring with a ruler, you have to know how to handle it if it falls in between the measures. So, for example, you have to know what to do if it falls in the middle here. So, if you're measuring something and it stops right here, is it closer to zero or is it closer to one? All right. Or if you're measuring and it stops right there, you got to know, do you go to one or did you go to two? So for us, we're going to be talking about going to the nearest whole number. You actually can figure out what that measurement exactly is, but for us, we're just going to try to get, we're just going to, to go to, down to the nearest whole number. So that's what we're going to talk about now, is finding out how to get to that nearest whole number. All right, so let's explore that now. All right, so here's my first toy car. Here's my first toy car. So let's measure that toy car here. All right, so I'm going to remember the first thing is to make sure I'm at my zero line. You can see this ruler actually starts right here. My zero line starts a little bit after that. But I've got it lined up. I'm good to go I'm from end to end. So now when I look right here, I can see on my red toy car. This is actually a Tesla. It's an all-electrical toy car. Ooh. Right here, I'm going to go straight down. And I can see right here is, this is called the half-inch mark. Right there is called the half-inch mark. And like I said, when I draw this straight down, I can see my line right there. There's my half inch mark. If you're, if you're measuring something and it falls before the half inch mark, you want to round down to the nearest whole number. So this red toy car would be five inches. That toy car is five inches because it didn't make it quite to that half inch mark. If it doesn't make the half inch mark, you go down. You go down. So let's take a look at this next one. Let's let's measure our next toy car. This time we have a gray Tesla Model S. Another nice car. Good for the environment too. First thing I want to do is line up my zero. Make sure my zero line is lined up there. See it? I'm a zero line right at the tip of the car. I want to find that half inch mark, right? Here's my half inch mark. It's right there. See it? Yeah, I can see that my toy car goes past the half inch mark. When it goes past it, I round up to the nearest whole number. And when I round up to the nearest whole number, I see that it's a four. So I can say that this toy car is four inches long. So when you're measuring, you and if it goes past the whole number, you then are going to look at the half inch mark. If it's past the half inch mark, you go to the large number. If it's below the half inch mark, if my toy car would have measured right here, I would go to that three. All right? Good luck on all you're doing. 